looking to impress others with your style, the skirt is always a good choice. So put it on. Go for vibrant colors. Add a belt, some accessories, and you're done. That's almost what I expected. To be more serious, there are so many ways that us petite women can elevate our style to look slimmer, taller, and also more stylish. When I'm in an outfit like that, I feel really confident. But it wasn't the case in the past because I used to wear outfits that were really badly put together that took that confidence away. That's why I decided to do this video where I talk about six things that us petite women with short legs should really avoid. Before we jump in, just a quick disclaimer to say that um, everything that I share is really my personal opinion and some of the things might work for you, some of it might not, so don't take it personally or too hard. It's just a suggestion and if it works for you, then just go with your style and I would be more than happy to hear your thoughts and feedback, so please do share it in the comments down below. So let's get into it. I always found pencil skirts so chic and elegant because they looked so amazing on tall and slim women. However, whilst they should create an elongated effect um, in theory, but I found that it doesn't really work in practice, at least not for me. Especially the pencil skirts below the knees, they just create that look that my legs are cut and makes me look shorter. So I think it could potentially work, but not when the skirt is below the knees. It should be at or above the knees, so it might create that better and more flattering effect. So I would say avoid pencil skirts below the knees because of that cut leg effect but if that works for you if you like it then absolutely go ahead with it but i would suggest and personally for what i found is that above the knees or right at the knees works better The second thing that we short-legged women should avoid is mixing and matching too many colours. I used to do it myself in the past, um, just mixing matching all sorts of colours that don't really go together with each other, so I think it's better to stick with only a few. Again, I'm not saying to avoid colour, absolutely not. There are ways how to mix and match them so that they complement each other. To help with this, you can use a colour palette. And in this palette, you have your primary colours and your complementary colours. So for example, you could use it several ways. So you can choose a primary colour and complement it with a complementary colour. Or you can use colours that are just the continuous shades of one colour as it's shown on the palette. Or you can use triadic colours and these are equally spaced out on the circle from each other as you can see um, in the picture as well. Horizontal lines definitely kind of earned a bad reputation among us petite women because they are said to make us look shorter and somewhat wider. I also tend to avoid horizontal patterns and lines, however there are ways how you could make it work. For example, if the horizontal lines are thin and close, um, closely spaced apart from each other, or if it's on the dress that's quite really long, it could look really nice. Also if you layer it, so for example you've got one piece of clothing with horizontal lines and you layer it on top of uh, something that is full colour, it could work really well as well. So with this one I say yes, avoid, but to a certain limit because you can use some of the ways to make it work for you and look really nice. So I think I mentioned this in uh, some of my previous videos, but adding a belt to your outfit can really elevate it. However, if you choose a belt that's really standout-ish or a very different colour to your outfit, um, or it is wide and thick, then it can definitely do more damage than good because it would look like you're kind of cut in half. However, this is 
easily fixed because you can choose um, or buy or select a belt that is thin and matches the color of your trousers or your dress that you're putting it on. In England, winter is definitely already here and what can be better than an oversized knit jumper that you kind of put on and just feel cozy and warm in min instantaneously. <laughs> so oversized knit jumpers and cardigans are absolutely fine and I love them too, but sometimes I think we can go a bit too oversized and personally I think that may create an effect that we are just drowning in fabric. It seems to add so much weight and if there is a lot of fabric, especially knit, uh, that can create a lot of volume then definitely it doesn't really work uh, to flatter our figure and our outfits so I think um, going oversized is fine but just be careful and avoid um, too much oversized pieces of clothing You're probably thinking long sleeves? What the heck are you saying? What's wrong with long sleeves? And I'm not saying to avoid long sleeves completely. I wear shirts and blouses and cardigans with long sleeves all the time. But sometimes I find that actually when they are really flowy, it looks so much better if you roll them up because it makes your arms look longer and that seems to create that elongating us being taller look. So if you're wearing a shirt or a blouse, um, just try and see how it looks with the long sleeves and how it looks with them rolled up because you might be surprised and if you roll them up they may look even more chic, put together and really classy. So these are the six things that I think us petite women with short legs should avoid or avoid to a limit. <laughs> I hope that you found it helpful and as always thank you very much for watching. If you've got any feedback, comments, please leave them in the comment section down below and if you consider subscribing and liking this video, that would mean a lot to me. So thanks again and I hope to see you next week.